This is sticky. You're sticky, Ricky? <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't know, like, <laughs> never know, you know, like. Never been here before. It's our first time, so we're excited to explore and see what there is. Mama. Pueblo Grande has been designated a national historic landmark. Oh wow! So it's a national park since 1964. For 90 years, Pueblo Grande Museum and Cultural Park has been preserving the culture and history of the indigenous people of the Salt River Valley. Excavations show that by 1350. Pueblo Grande had already been one of the largest and most important villages for more than seven centuries. Admission to the museum is $6 for adults, five for seniors, $3 for ages six to 17, and under six, kids are free, and on Sunday, kids are free too. Wow. Let's check out some of their indoor exhibits. Dude, be careful up there. I'm glad you're wearing a helmet. Uh, he's digging. He found like a hubcap or something. Or is that an alien spacecraft? They have this cool little bingo card where you find all of these cool treasures and then you come back to the front desk and you get a prize. So we're on the hunt for all those cool things. So if you guys see one of these things, leave a comment down below where you saw it, okay? So they also have some cool art by artist Thomas Breeze Marcus. Man, I wanna try something like this. This is such a cool idea. Wow, that's beautiful. Show me life, show me love. This is all we got. Sometimes life will push you down. Make you fall onto the ground. This is like a model of what it looked like. Isn't that crazy? Or like a bird flying above it. That's so cool. Check mark. Emma Bikes found one of her I found items. two actually. I found two already. Whoa. So it was right here, that was outside. homes. Archaeologists suggest that human waste was deposited in trash mounds located near residential areas. Excavations of trash mounds show that the layers of waste and debris were periodically capped with clean desert soil or periodically burned. This suggests that they wanted to keep the top of the trash mound sanitary by sealing off or burning organic rich layers. I mean, they're so much better at uh, composting and trash management than we are today. Emma, so the bingo card, Mickey Munchies informed me that there's two 
sides. So one side is for indoor and one side is for outdoor. So Emma Bikes has gotten the indoor portion completed and now we have stepped outside. It is not super hot today here in Phoenix. It's a perfect day um, uh, to explore. And the cool thing is uh, we're real close to the airport. So, you know, we'll see a bunch of airplanes. So it's kind of uh, old meets new because we're in a very ancient place, but then we'll see modern stuff flying over our heads a little bit. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Good at building canals. They said there was 16 miles of canals built, and they were 50 feet deep. It was lined with concrete just a few years ago, but it's the same location as there. Yeah, so that's the canal they built. I mean, it's just modernized, but it was what they did. How incredible, man! Look, this making forever, and so is me and you. Dude, Emma, ancient Native Americans built this. How incredible. We're looking at history, dude. This is history. Like, this is Emma's room. Yeah. Wow. Oh no. Almost fell off the ledge. Bricks and rocks, like perfect formation, but the mud plaster in between, like after all of these years, it's still. I mean, I know there's always constant restoration, but. Eight feet high, three feet thick. Man. So they were not residences, but it seems like there were more ceremonial and craft activities as weaving, basketry. So it's kind of like a mall. Paints, <laughs> yeah, they're market. Yeah. That's so crazy, man. Open air kitchen facilities where you wow. your food for religious practitioners. Wow, so this was like their like a mall, like a little shopping area. He had artisans making uh, different pieces of art and crafts. He had people cooking. He had a ceremonial spaces here. Like, geez, it seemed like it was going to be tiny, and then mm -hmm. just like at all of how this. vast it is. Yeah, this is only like a fraction of what their village was. Of course, uh, urban expansion and gentrification has come into play, but thankfully, at least we have this sliver of history intact because it'd be a shame to lose this i mean man like i i think uh this is like mandatory viewing uh not only for children but for anyone you got to learn history this is history here history something like like football you had two two goals one on either end and you had a ball 
and you had teams and you probably had to get your ball in your opponent's goal. I mean, that's, I'm pretty sure that's the rules of the game. The women play hockey. That's awesome. Yeah, that looks. Like so the men played ball and the women played hockey. Man, and then those balls were made out of rocks. Kitchen in the desert. This is my spot right here, guys. We found my spot. They actually have native chefs come and cook here for real. <gasps> Holy smokes. I'm not a native chef, but I would love to cook with a native chef here. Hello? Huh? Gary? Yes. Gary, what? Gary? Who is that? Yes, this is Gary. Who Gary? Is this? this is Gary. Who is this? Ah. Gary. So they have a little like stove set up right here and they have guest Native American chefs come by and cook here. That's the wood they used to burn. There's a little fire pit they used to cook. Oh, that's so cool. Dude, this is awesome. And look, they even have the little canal structures for the water. <laughs> Just like how it used to be. This is kind of similar to how uh, Hawaiians cook the like Kalua pork. Dig a big hole, you have your hot stones. You have your food, and then you put a, a layer on top to insulate it, so you're it's an oven, an outdoor oven. That's what that is. This is so cool, man, I love it. This reminds me of when I was growing up and my grandpa, uh, we had like a pretty big backyard and he would build like these mounds just like this for, and he'd have those little irrigation ditches and everything. That's what my, gran my granddad used to do. Wow, that's cool. Is that? My husband had left it. Is that your hat, Emma? No, it doesn't come off. It's, it's Indiana Jones hat. History cannot give us a program for the future, but it can give us a fuller understanding of ourselves and our common humanity so that we can better face the future. That's beautiful. These words inspired the life's work of Roger Lindman, generous friend, scholar, visionary, and leader of the humanities, social preservation, and the site of Pueblo Grande. Thank you, Mr. Lindman, and beautiful words, Mr. Warren. Couldn't agree with you more. Are you crying? What's that? Are you crying? Am I crying? No, I'm not crying. You're crying. It's okay to cry. People cry. It's great, but I'm not crying. I don't. I'm not a crier. I don't cry. I, I you know, I work out. So this one's made out of rock. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Well, this so that's is kind heavy. of. Yeah, it's made out of rock. Just be careful. This one's made out of wood. Oh, is the oh, weight difference? Yeah. yeah. Can I try it too? Okay. Wow. So they kind of just this chiseled this out of wood. Wow. Wait. I have a question about these. Were these like little for the kids or those toys? I think it was an effigy. They found this when they were um, they were building out the air, the, on the runway. But, um, these were uh, they traded with the Pacific Coast for the shells. Whoa! So they would go all the way to California and Mexico. And they trade. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> this yeah. is obsidian. Obsidian. So they would um, oh, take another rock and. Flint, they, it's called flint mapping. They'll hit against it to create the, um, the projectile. Wow. And this is what the shards look like when they you break off. Yeah. What do you think that is? <laughs> Good job. It's what do you this. think that is? What do you think it is? It is a bone, but what does it look like? What do these look like? Yes. So this is probably, if this is teeth, what is this? A job. Good job. Nice. Good work. They think it was a it was a job one for a deer. Wow. Uh, this is a dried piece of cactus they would use as a container. Yeah, like a little a cup or a jug or something. Wow. That's so cool. Thanks for watching this week's episode. We'll see ya somewhere next time. Bye everybody. We can grab and it's over.
Maybe you 